Hi, my name is Derek Smith and I'm a member of the production staff here at Media Space Solutions and you're tuning in to an MSS cast. In this cast we're going to cover how to check your file for spot color use and the steps taken to convert the color to industry standard CMYK. Now first we'll take a look at a file and run a check on the color. Once you've got your PDF loaded you'll want to click the advanced bar at the very top and then within the print production choices choose output preview tool. And the color check will open and you'll be able to see whether the file is CMYK or if it uses spot or Pantone colors. And in this file you'll see there is a spot green in use listed here. Now to see where the use is you just uncheck the color plate and then you'll be able to see it removed from view just like this. And then you recheck the box and the separation will reappear. Now for newspaper and magazine print CMYK is the only accepted color separation. So if there are any Pantone, RGB, or spot colors in use, you will need to convert them to CMYK. And the process can be done several ways, including through the use of a simple fix-up that you have in your pre-flight shortcuts. Or, if you don't have the fix-up profile, we'll provide that to you. It's in a link below this cast in the comments section, and you can import the tool, which we'll go over in just a bit. Now, if you would like to make the revision and already have the tool, you'll again go to the Advanced tab, and then move within the print production choices and choose pre-flight. In this tool you'll see many different reports and conversion options available and in the PDF fix-ups tab you can either choose convert to CMYK only swap right here and double click and the conversion will be made or again if you don't have this profile what you'll want to do is copy it again listed below this cast in the comment section and then save it to your Mac desktop. Then next you'll choose the options drop down from within the pre-flight tool screen and choose the import pre-flight profile, which is right here, options, and then import pre-flight profile. Now much like uploading or downloading a file, you'll be able to browse to and then choose the profile from your desktop and then click open. Now the new pre-flight conversion tool will now show up in the imported pre-flight drop downs within your pre-flight screen, which is right here. Now that you have the conversion tool, you just double click and run the process. Once the conversion is made, you'll be asked to resave the PDF under a new name and to choose a location for the new file. And we'll go ahead and check the colors in just a bit to make sure there's no, no uh, spot colors at all. But I did want to point out that there is another way to convert all your images to CMYK. The process to do so is to change your swatch palette to process color. Now to bring up your swatch palette, what you'll do is open your native file. We'll go ahead and do that here. And then you'll click Window, which is at the very top, and then Swatches, and your Swatch Palette will open. Then in the very far right, you'll click the arrow and choose Swatch Options. Right here. And you'll see the color type here. You'll change this from Spot to Process. Click OK and then what you'll do is just export a PDF and once you do so you'll have a saved PDF and to save time I saved mine ahead of time and you'll output a new PDF and now you'll see when we check it with our output preview you'll see there's no spot colors just CMYK so you've successfully exported the file in CMYK now these are just a couple of the ways that you can submit your file for print and that so it will be CMYK and it will reproduce at the highest possible quality. Now if you have any questions as always please contact us by a telephone or email and please utilize our growing library of production related offerings. I'm Derek Smith for Media Space Solutions Production and thank you very much for tuning into this MSS cast.